It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened, this scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Um, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Yeah, nice to see you too. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. 
Yeah. I used to have a don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. 